Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to another episode of the Sky Map. And today, guys, uh, we're going to be working on a little something. Now, first things first, I did move the area for uh, the vault entrance from here to here. Because I thought this area, it's a little bigger, I can do a little bit more here, you know? There's just, there's more space for me to work with. Um, ow. But yeah, I made the circle a lot bigger as well. And this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't conflict with anything to my knowledge. Uh, but now, for kind of the long and hard part. Oops. Um, and real quick, I need one thing. I need some glowstone. Do I have any more glowstone? <laughs> Uh, shroom lights. No. Got some glowstone dust. Hmm. Got some more glowstone dust. Oh, wait, I have sea lanterns. I can use those. I have to use those up as well, so I think I'm going to use the sea lanterns. Let's take these with us. Um, oh wait, I, had, I do have glowstone. Okay, I'll use these for a different part of the project. Also, real quick. There. Alright. Now. I spent a while... I watched a lot of Legend of Korra uh, getting all of this obsidian. Oh, hey, more glowstone. Cool. There. Oops. Uh, come on. Cool. I need some, some dirt or something. Hang on. Dang it. Ow. Brick. <laughs> How close is my elytra to breaking? Eh, it's fine. Alright, and we're back. Cool. Uh Oh yeah, now I remember. I have it up here. Dirt. Dirt 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 dirt. Anyway, uh yeah. I'm inheriting a lot of my dad's stuff. I'm just realizing Oh man, I uh I guess that's how it's becoming. I'm thinking every four blocks. Alright. Uh yeah, let's keep this up. Wow, those vines are really growing. Like, that is, uh... That is growing. Not necessarily a bad thing, but they, they are getting, uh, pretty big. There... Let's keep this up. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. One, two, three, four. There. One, 
two, three. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, this just about doesn't hit this. Very good. See if we can see a pumpkin fly through here. Nope. All right. Maybe I blinked and missed it, but who knows? Also, I saw a pumpkin farm in Hermitcraft that just put mine to shame. And I was like, oh man, I need something as powerful as that. Because that, I was, I was put to shame, dude. Oops, uh. Yeah, mine was just put to shame completely. And I was just like, oh my god. Um, at some points, it... Recently, I've been watching Hermitcraft, Season 7 specifically, uh, and I saw a pumpkin farm in one of Green's videos, and I was like, oh my god, that puts, that puts my farm here to shame. So, I kind of want to build a bigger one. Um... I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly, but I plan to. Oops. Uh, yeah, I'll look up. I got to remember whose base it was because I have to look up who built it and see what that farm was actually like so that I can figure out how to get like, because basically in one of Green's videos, uh, the farm, like, storage system just stopped working. And Green was, like, storing all the stuff from the farm, and I was just, like, um, obsessed with that because it was, it was my POV. POV? FOV, sorry. I was just, like, that is a lot of pumpkins and melons. And they were like blocks of melons. And I'm like, okay, how is this farm constructed? I need to know now. So, yeah, that might be a project coming up. Although I do have an idea where I could build another automatic pumpkin farm. Uh, and that's in Disco Square, actually. I could build one. There. There. Oh, we're really close. Okay, cool. I hear the lava. That's it. All right, cool. this. All right. Let's get building. All right. Gotta place all the obsidian, you know? Uh, yeah, it's it's a bit of a more stale job, but you get the... It, it, it's cool. We're all cool with it. If you've watched my content this long, like if you're this far into the video, I'm surprised. Um... break this. It does not take too long for me to break blocks with this pickaxe. Like, I have a good pickaxe. 
breaking obsidian is easy. Actually, I should show you guys after the video how close to decimated the tower is that I've been mining. Uh, there. Alright. Oops, let me just... There we go. Also, I think we're going to need a new super compactor. Because the one we currently have, it's it's good. Like, it's very good. But, like... There's a, there are a couple problems with it. One of which being loading it. Anyway, let's keep this up. Uh, I'm just now realizing mobs are going to spawn on top of this. So I need to place down some carpets. up. I should have gotten ice and put that down instead of the, uh, the end stone. Oh, that was dumb. Because the thing is with ice, I can, um, I can vote on that without much lag. Which would be very helpful. Although I do get a speed buff when going through this tunnel. Alright. Oh look at that, it's my redstone. My first little bit of redstone on here. Ah, uh, memories. Let's have a look at this. Man, when did I build this again? Like... Yeah, this goes way back. This goes back maybe a hundred episodes. All right. Uh, let me just break this. All right. You know what, I think it's uh, Disco Square is going to end up being the project that has taken me longest on YouTube. I really do, because this is technically part of it. Okay, so you go down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, 20 seconds is a lot. I should really get some ice or something. I don't think there's a way for me to get ice, actually. Um, hmm. Wait. Wait a minute, I think there might actually be a way for me to get ice. I could make an ice farm. Um, let me explain. So, this place uh, actually... Can you craft packed ice? I don't know if I can, actually. There are a lot of mobs here. Let's, let's sleep. Sleepy time. Alright.
Okay, so, yeah, there's literally no way for me to get ice. Is there? Hang on. Nope. Aww. Hello. Yo, okay, Coral. Good. Uh, yeah, there's not. Oh, man. That kind of sucks for me. Uh, you guys know of another really fast way to travel in Minecraft? <laughs> Uh, I need this. All right. All right. Okay, we gotta keep this up. We gotta keep this up. this. Yeah, these past, like, how many episodes have we been working on um, Disco Square? It's been a while. I'm out of Obsidian. I had 18 stacks of obsidian. And I'm out. That surprises me. Um. I need to think for a minute. Is there a way for me to get ice? I think. Because I think I really need it. Specifically packed ice. Uh, I have five. I could really use this stuff. Uh, okay. I know there's the way of me getting like um, getting it from the nether, but I don't want to do that. Um, maybe mining one of these ice spikes. I don't know if I want to mine these, though. Plus, I'd have to mine a couple in order to get enough packed ice. Wait a minute, I have another way. Um, do, uh, no, 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 um, what's the thing for, no, traitor spawning, that's not right. The heck was that? Uh, game rule. Do trader spawning. True. All right. Because wandering traders can give us. The, what the heck is this for? Oh yeah, this was gonna originally be where I was gonna put the bank entrance, whatever. All right. Um. Yeah, if a watering trader spawns, I can just ask them for packed dice. Because they sell that. So, yeah. Let's hope we get one. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's probably going to end this video here. Because I'm out of obsidian, and that means we're out of stuff to do. Um, but yeah, don't, what, what were my plans for these two buildings? I had a plan for this one.
Uh, oh yeah, super smelter. Yeah, in my opinion, this project is actually, like, probably, it's pretty profitable. Like, I get a lot out of this. Um, and also, this place just gets to look nicer. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's going to end this video here. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with everyone you know and love, and I will see you all later. Bye!